What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Today, I got a pretty helpful video for anyone that's having problems or troubles getting coins and hearts in Mortal Kombat 11. If you guys don't know, Mortal Kombat 11 has the crypt and in the crypt you can buy a bunch of chests and all that to unlock gear colors and you know icon all types of stuff in mortal kombat you can buy in the crypt to buy the stuff in the crypt you need coins you need hearts you need all that so right next to me uh, let me move over here is the coins and then there's also time crystals and then there's hearts but you can't really see the hearts right here anyways so those are the things that you can uh, use to buy items in mortal kombat 11. now time crystals if you guys don't know you can buy uh, using the time crystals in the MK store if you press the right trigger It takes you to this and it shows you the the daily items or gear that you can buy with the time crystal So today we got Shao Kahn uh, gear or an outfit. We got Aaron Black. That's actually a pretty cool looking one uh, We got Sonya, Garrus, uh, Brutality, and a cause Let's buy this really quick, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back to the main point of this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to easily get coins and hearts in Mortal Kombat 11 without really doing anything. There's two ways you can do this, uh, and both ways work pretty much the same, but one takes one more step. I'm going to show you the long way first, and then the short way. So the long way is you go to customize character. So this technique right now is you're going to send your AI into the classic towers, and they're going to do all the work and you literally just sit back, watch a YouTube video, do some homework, do some work and your AI is going to kick butt and get you some coins and hearts. So you go to customize character. This is a long way. Go to customize character and look at the roster and pick a character that you guys think would be really cheap. Like what character in your head, if you saw this AI at super high difficulty level, would you be like, God dang it, not this character again. For me, that's an easy one. I'm gonna pick Noob Saibot. And you wanna go all the way over to AI behavior. These are the default AI settings. So you can adjust it on how you want. So depending on what character you pick, like if you pick a uh, Jax or like Garrus, you might want more grappling. But Noob Saibot, not really. So you can just turn that down. So again, this is all uh, catered to what character you pick. If you don't really know which playstyle you want, you can always use one of the presets. So if you click uh, 1 or X on the Xbox or square on the PlayStation, press that. It has already presets ready for you. So you want a well-rounded character, a little bit of everything. There's the first one. You want a hard zoner. So if your AI is like Aaron Black or maybe Cassie or someone with projectiles, hard zoner would probably be the good one for that. Uh, strategic, self-explanatory, maniac, and then empty, which I don't know why you want that. But uh, Noob Saibot, I want him to be kind of a maniac character so this is gonna make your ai stay close to your opponent which <laughs> yeah let's do that we're also gonna adjust it just a little bit so i'm gonna uh you know turn down the grappling a little bit uh up up the combos reversals turn that down rush down turn that down just a tad so i kind of want rush down and combos that's usually my go-to with the ai settings rush down combos if your ai has that you're pretty much golden so once you have that done Make sure you save it. Now you're good to go. You want to go to the classic towers, which you can find that over here. So now that you're in the classic towers, you want to go over to endless. Endless tower will make your character keep on going and fighting opponent after opponent and every battle they win, they will get coins for you. They will get hearts for you. If you do like survival, you know, they lose life and it ends after 25 opponents and then same goes for these other ones but endless it keeps on going so depending on how op your character is it'll rack you up a lot of coins so we're gonna go to this tower right here go over to noob cybot and you want to click on the character but before you go any further let me move out of the way here i didn't really think about my camera placement uh over here you can see uh on the bottom where you pick the variations and all that it says ai fighter you want to turn that on so now it's on and you have your character uh, AI settings already set for that variation you just press it and now you let noob cybot do all the work or let whatever character you're using uh, do all the work and you know watch your character rack up some coins for you you can take a take a call really quick watch some videos do some texting you can do literally anything the only thing is you can't go too far because there has to be someone that presses the button after each round. So you can see here, no hands. 
controller. AI doing all the work. Uh, another character I found that does really good work in this uh, method of earning coins is Liu Kang. Liu Kang has the bicycle kick. And pretty much every time he punches the opponent one time, he goes into bicycle kick. So that character works really well. But if you guys have a character uh, that you feel like would be a really good character to use in this method, feel free to leave in the comments down below. And then we can find the ultimate character to rack up them coins. But I did this method uh, like yesterday just to see if it works. And it works. And I racked up a pretty hefty amount of coins. And just like that, Noob Cybot won the game. And the cool thing is, if you guys don't know, to get hearts in MK11, you have to do fatalities or brutalities. And if you use an AI, nine times out of ten when they win a game, they do a fatality. Like, if you watch, this is the first match. Noob Cybot won. He did a fatality. Let's go to the second match. And then he will do a fatality again. So we got now Jax. And you can use consumables for your AI. I don't think they need it. <laughs> Later on the endless towers, the opponents do get harder. So then maybe down the line use a modifier or a uh, consumable. But in the beginning stages, your character should be fine. Um, again, depending on what character you use, they're probably going to go breeze through the first like 20 characters like it's nothing. And seeing as Noob Saibot's the most OP character in the game, he's going to probably make it to, like, opponent number 100. The match is about to be over, and Noob Saibot is going to do a fatality. Like I said. And again, a fatality equals a heart. So here's another heart for your account. I'm going to make this black and white so I don't get demonetized. And now let me move over really quick so you guys can see the amount of coins and hearts you get. So, you, you just got 300, almost 400 coins and a heart for your AI doing a fatality. And you literally did nothing. You just sat here. I just sat here and talked to you guys. And I just made 400 coins and a free heart. Pretty much, I, I, all that was free for just sitting here and doing nothing. And again, Endless Tower, it can keep going on and on. As long as your character is like really good and you have like a, a good character that's pretty cheap or does a lot of damage, you should be good. And again, that was the long way. The short way uh, that I mentioned earlier on the video is you don't really have to go into the character uh, settings and then change their abilities. You can do that to cater to certain characters, but really you can just go into the endless tower and then just pick uh, any character and just turn on the AI because if you don't set any AI uh, specific settings for that character it will just be a well-rounded AI so it will have like the same stats across the board and usually they're pretty good uh, default AIs so you don't have to change the AI settings but if you do I feel like you might get a little bit better of an outcome I've already made over a thousand coins and like what two hearts and this is gonna be heart number three Noob, dude, okay, noob, now you're just showing off. There we go. But I hope you guys find this video useful or entertaining. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know if there's a character that you feel will be really good for this method of earning coins and hearts. I'd love to uh, see what character you guys would be using, what character works better. I'm always looking to using a stronger AI to rack up them coins. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring that bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name's on Cage Games, and you just got Cage. Officially. So, got my chair. Let's line up. First of all,